Hey everybody, welcome back to the Game Tower. Today I'm reviewing Quaxa Quadlinburg. At first blush, the theme of brewing miraculous elixirs sounds fun and enticing. But when you compare the main mechanism of randomly drawing ingredients to the theme of crafting potions, it becomes impossible to deny the fact that the two are in complete opposition to one another. You wouldn't bake a cake by just randomly pulling things out of your cupboard and throwing them into a bowl and baking whatever mixture you concoct. And so here, the theme literally couldn't be more broken because anytime anyone brews anything, they're careful about the ingredients and the amount of each item they put into the mix. In Quacks, the components are not amazing, but they serve their purpose and function perfectly. My only complaint or change that I would make would be to include an area on the round board for the fortune teller deck and draw pile because it's the only aspect of the game that gets constantly forgotten before starting a new round. Sadly, Quax is wrongly labeled as a bag building game, which it absolutely is not. What it is, is an odds manipulation push your luck game. Despite the box's claims that this is a strategic game, all of your intricately intended plans are eroded by the entirely random draw. Although the mechanisms are not broken, they do usurp player volition, which nullifies the strategic decisions that you've made. This means that the game's depth is dried up by your inability to actively fulfill your decision's intentions. Contrasting the lack of effective depth is the clean and smooth learning curve that enables players to easily engage with this glorified version of craps. Unfortunately, the random draw removes the enjoyment of the pseudo-strategic decisions that Quacks places upon its players. Every round, you're faced with two types of decisions. One, to push your luck against the bag spread, and two, deciding what ingredients to water down the odds of exploding with. As mentioned, the unpredictable draws void the strategy, and multiple unlucky rounds can leave a player feeling demoralized while they're still trying to decide whether or not to draw. Next to components, downtime is another aspect that Quax does extremely well. Because every round, all players are drawing from their ingredient bags simultaneously. Furthermore, in the final round, everyone draws in unison, which is a nice twist of suspense to what is otherwise a true multiplayer solitaire affair. I would give Quacks full marks for downtime, but when you cannot get a good round, you end up slogging through the ingredient drawing process rather than being enthralled by it. Another strength of Quacks is the replayability that's rooted in the ingredients books. Five out of seven of the ingredients come with two separate tiles that are double-sided and provide four different ability options. Each ability is also sorted into four preset decks indicated in the artwork with one to four bookmarks, which is great. However, spoiler alert, one ability is more powerful than the other 20 options offered. In time with more plays, you'll want to remove that page from the ingredients books that you use. My rating for recommendations may surprise you, but based on others' experience and appreciation of quacks, I have to set my own aside to admit that I appear to be in the minority as one who finds the unpredictable random outcomes more discouraging than entertaining, which is the fine line where quacks hangs in the balance. I highly recommend playing it to see which side you fall on. Does the excitement of a successful round outweigh the bad ones? Or does the inability to actualize your strategy interfere with the enjoyment that might be gained from playing? Where the weights of balanced land is entirely up to your internal biases. I truly don't know how this could have ever received a critics award, as the mechanics are clearly flawed and contradict the theme. But that doesn't mean the game's not fun. Lots of people enjoy B-rate movies with bad acting, and there's nothing wrong with enjoying a game that has broken mechanisms. So try Quacks and decide for yourself. Me? I'll be moving on. 
This is it from the Game Tower. Thanks again for watching, and let me know what you think, or what side of the balance do you fall on? Does Quacks offer more enjoyment than disappointment? Let me know. I hope you keep tuning in. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. And happy gaming.